This is the fourth video in our new series on creativity for those with anxiety and ADHD. In particular, we're discussing what you can do to literally flip the switch on your tendencies and use them to your advantage as a sufferer of anxiety or ADHD. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, stress, anxiety, depression, and ADHD. As mentioned, we believe there are tendencies and characteristics shared between anxiety and ADHD sufferers that, if harnessed properly, could work to their advantage. Such creativity can arise through our sensitivity, emotions, thoughts, and inclinations when we pay attention to them. By using our ideas for something productive, we can get a sense of satisfaction. Reframing anxiety in a creative way can help us experience relief. Today, we'll be discussing something called flow. This concept was popularized through the work of psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. He describes flow as a state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The experience is so enjoyable that people will continue to do it even at great cost for the sheer sake of doing it. If you, therefore, think about a state of flow, this is not a state of stress or anxiety. This is a state of doing what you really enjoy. Often when we're trying to create and get into a state of flow, we have to face our biggest critic, which is ourselves. In order to really experience flow, such criticism cannot be allowed to prevent you from your state of flow. One of the simplest protections against what is really a self-sabotaging tendency is to be on the lookout for the following. Self-criticism and perfectionism. This means deliberately leaving mistakes as you go when you're going through the creative process. At the stage, you have to avoid the tendency to correct mistakes. This is a time for editing later, but not while you're coming up with ideas. This is because your creative self is expressing ideas in a more raw form. Imagine someone bringing ideas to you and as soon as they came up with them, you told them why their ideas wouldn't work. This wouldn't be helpful, but this is exactly what many of us do to ourselves. By becoming conscious of these tendencies, we can counteract them while remaining in a state of flow. And please remember something we said in the past. You needn't worry if you aren't working on something you consider a creative endeavor. This process can yield use useful information that can guide you in regular daily life. We hope that you'll give these suggestions a try and share your experience in the comments section of this video. We look forward to presenting another video in our series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.